this tutorial, we'll have a look at how to annotate PDF documents using the iPad. This could be used before a lesson, or it could be used within a lesson, for example, getting students to annotate content live, especially if you're linked to the board via Air Server. First of all, though, we might need to convert things into PDF. So, I'm actually going to use the Apple Office products. We could use Pages or Keynote. If I go to my Documents area, I could either create a document or I could have already saved documents onto the iPad. So let's have a look at how we save those documents to the iPad. So in this instance, I'm collect a document from my iPad email. So here's daily notices. I click and open them. And then I'm going to click on the Upload and Share button at the top right. And open in Pages rather than Word. That will then import into the iPad. Sometimes we get a formatting message because some fonts aren't available. However, the Apple Office version does allows a bit more functionality. So I can open this file, and again I'm looking for this share and upload button. This time I'm going to click on open in another app, which gives me the chance to convert it into the PDF format. I'm then going to scroll along to Acrobat from Adobe. And here's the document, but now in the Acrobat version. Notice that along the bottom we have some tools. This one here, with a little speech bubble and a pen, is a useful commentary and editing tool. So I'm going to scroll to an area where I might want to do some work or get the students to do some highlighting. Click on the speech bubble and pen icon to reveal some more tools. So here I have a highlighter tool. I might ask students to highlight specific content. There's a pencil tool where I can actually handwrite notes. Well, that's not my favourite, so I'm never good at it. At this point, you'll notice that the toolbar has disappeared. We have to click Save to record that note. We may even use the text tool. So if I click on the text tool and click into the document, I could either type or I could use voice recognition. Type some words. Clicked on done, clicked on save. And now that types note is there to move around in my text. I could even resize that by clicking in and changing font size and so on. So it's a handy way maybe if you have a document that you want to have prepared before a lesson to annotate. Obviously it's easy to work with documents which are already in PDF. We would just skip the use of the Apple Office and go to Adobe Acrobat Direct, which I have located here. If I click on Done, and then click on the blue icon at the top, we can go to any documents that you've downloaded. So for example, I've got some exam board specifications here that I might want to open a particular page of and to annotate. So it's a pretty useful tool for doing some basic annotations with preset texts. Hope that helps.